Okay, so this is the CoSpaces environment. Just wanted to walk you through what it's like to edit one scene. You'll notice here on an empty scene like this one that you will be presented with this, this grid here, a square. And this is the area upon which you can place objects. When you set a scene up, you're gonna, we're gonna do an environmental background in a minute. You'll see that there are items that are outside of this, this perimeter, uh, but those are really meant just for scenery. So in fact, let's start doing that first. I'm gonna come over here on the bottom left to the tab that says environment. I'm gonna click on that and you're gonna see edit. So if I click on edit, I'm given a few choices of environments that I can pick. I'm gonna go ahead and pick, uh, let's just let's pick this one here. And so you'll notice that everything that is uh, decorated at the moment is on the outside of this grid. For the most part, I think that interestingly, there's a little part that's coming through the grid there. But what you have in the grid area is where, what you can place onto your scene. You'll all also notice that every scene comes with one camera. You can add more. But for now, this is the one camera that when a visitor comes to see you, it, it, you, we can simulate that in the play button. When a visitor comes to see your space, they'll be looking through this camera. And in future videos, I'll show you how to actually, you can program the camera to move around. Uh, for now, we'll just leave it as the default uh, location. And th from there, the, they open up uh, the scene to see what you've put here. So that's environment. The next one is library. Library is where you go to grab different pre-built characters, animals, houses, all these different types of models that have been built for us. And so you can pull out a character. It just comes out onto the scene. And I'm gonna squeeze in here a little bit. So earlier I said, if, uh, if you just click on the grid, you can move around. If you hold your space bar, down while you click on the grid, you do what's called panning. It allows you to move from side to side or, or however you want to move sort of laterally. If you don't hold the space bar down, then it rotates the scene. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to view our character. And if I wanted that character to be uh, larger, I can click and hold this drags to scale button, make that person bigger or smaller. I could also lift them up off the ground. I could rotate them if I needed to. And I could move them in a, a given direction, depending on the axis, X, Y, or Z. Okay. And even when I'm just clicking on them, by the way, I can always, I'll always have this blue circle down below where I can rotate them. Okay. You can add more characters onto your scene and you can resize them based on your needs. And these characters are not just still objects. There are two things you can do with them. One is you can animate them just by right clicking or control clicking on any character. You can click on animation and you can pick an animation that, that they will automatically start doing when the play button begins. So notice as, as I was looking at it, I'll bring that back for a second. As I was looking at it and I was changing these, you can see that it can, you can see in the background, it's kind of, it's doing it. Um, but actually once you move away like that, it stops and it won't, won't start again until you actually hit the play button. And the same thing with the person, I can right click or control click them and I can pick an animation. And it might be something like uh, talking excited. Okay. Now these animations only take place on the character in a stationary position. In a future video, I will show you how to actually make them move around along a path that you create. So if you want them to run or if you want them to walk, uh, they could actually do that, but that, that requires using code and that's here. And we'll talk about that in a future video. All right, the other thing I want you to be familiar with in your tabs down at the bottom is upload. This is where you can upload different types of items that you've created into the CoSpaces environment. If you're using Tinkercad and you have some models that you've exported, you can upload them using the 3D Models uh, button. You can bring in images, videos, sound, so different types of files that you can bring onto the scene. Okay, 
And over here on the left, one other thing that I do want to make sure you see is up here in the top, what looks like a, a mountain view or pictures here, that's your scenes. So right now we're sitting in scene one. You can actually create more scenes. And what happens when you do that, I'm going to go ahead and pick another empty scene, is that now you have actually two different locations and you can go between them. Uh, so you might have, you know, once a scene of a story going on here and then as it goes to the next scene with a different location, you could actually create that here. So that's the way you can create multiple scenes inside one single CoSpaces um, environment. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. This is what a viewer would see when they came in to CoSpaces. And there are our characters talking excitedly and playing just in a stationary position. Okay, I'm going to click on this left arrow here to bring us back out of play mode and back into designer mode. And that's all for this video. That's all. I'm, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at some of the more advanced features in a future video.